Hello friends, welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Yeah, coming to the question number 61, the chromatic number of the following graph. So this is about the question related to graph coloring. So graph coloring means you have to color the graph such that no two, no two vertices should have the same color. Okay, first we will see that one, afterwards we will come to chromatic number. First we will see, let us suppose if I give one here, one cannot be given here, here, here. So I can give one here or one here, okay. Let us suppose if I give one here, one cannot be given here. So like this you can give and you can use, um, we will mostly use like minimum number of colors. So like this here I can give two, here I can give three, so here I can give four, like this I can give. But can I use the minimum number of colors? So that minimum number I can use that means the minimum number that I can use to color this graph okay for coloring any graph that we call it as chromatic number. Now we will see what is the chromatic number of this graph that means how many uh, that is the number of minimum colors I can use to color this graph that we will see now and before going to that I will go for some example. Let us suppose if I take a triangle definitely here if I color one here one should not be there here also here two here three okay and if I take square here one I can give here also one these two are not adjacent here two here two so the chromatic number here is two here is three and let us suppose if I write like this so one if I give here I cannot give one here two here something three here four okay for any complete graph the number of vertices equals to the chromatic number remember this point for any complete graph okay so th this is what exactly I mean chromatic number now we'll see the chromatic number for this one so if I give one here here I cannot give here I cannot give here so I can give only two options you can take any one if you want so I'll take uh, one here or you can take here also one and now there is no option for one to take yeah let us suppose if I take two here I cannot take two here here I cannot I can take two here okay now the option is three here I can take three here so can you I am using only three colors can you use less than three no so my chromatic number is three only so this is what we call it as chromatic number and the for our graph the answer is option B. Yeah, the question related to AVL trees which are of balanced which of the following is a AVL tree are following you have to check it out. So balanced binary such trees where the balance of I mean height of the left and right if you subtract the absolute value should not exceed 1. Right if you see here the for every sub subtree also so if you see here uh, let us take here let us suppose three nodes here here three balanced okay so like this you can say three minus three zero okay now even for the subtrees also here one node one child here zero like this also you can take or two children here zero right so two and one here so two minus one one like this also you can consider this is definitely avl tree which is balanced now here you can see and for this one if i say here 10 if i say left how many are there one child right zero let us suppose if i take like this 1 minus 0 1 this is fine here if i take for this node here 2 left right is 0 so what is 2 minus 0 2 so should not be so that's why b is not a avl now for this one c if i take this 10 1 minus 0 fine if i take for 50 here 2 here 1 2 minus 1 1 here that is fine okay now we'll see for this one 150 left is not there 0 minus 1 1 that is fine that is absolute value 300 300 and here right side 400 so that is fine absolute value will take 1 and for 200 left are 2 okay 2 is the height you have to take okay you cannot take like two nodes are there you cannot take height we are talking 1 2 so here also 2 2 minus 2 0 that is fine and for 100 here 1 2 3 here 1 2 3 3 minus 3 is 0 that is also fine 
so only a and c are avl which are balanced binary set trees so option b is the correct answer so like this we need to check it out for balanced binary set trees which are one type of avl trees yeah consider the following avl tree question number 63 it is avl tree which is given which is a balanced of course it is balanced you can check it out for each node for 20 there are left right fine for 60 you can see left is 1 right is 2 which is minus 1 and for 100 1 minus 1 0 that is also fine now the question is which of the following is updated avl tree after insertion of 70 now first we will insert 70 in binary set tree where 70 will come it will check for 60 70 is greater comes to the right for 100 lesser comes to the left for 80 lesser comes to the left now tell me is this a balanced or avl tree no why because you can see for 60 left is height is 1 right height is 1 2 3 3 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 absolute is 2 which should not be right either you can have minus 1 0 or 1 okay yeah now we have to balance how to balance there are constraints i think you can see all the constraints so there are four cases you will find like left 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 right right left and right right okay so here in this case if you clearly observe this is a case of right left so for 60 let us suppose if this is x so here it is not balanced so here it is y here it is z now you can see first okay first we need to make this one so here we need to balance we need to take this one so 70 180 so 70 so this should be first right rotated i said it as right left first we need to make it as right left so what happens here if i take 180 70 if i right rotate first it will become 80 will be the root 70 will come here and right side it is 100 and now the right of the 100 120 as it is so like this you can see now it is and previously 60 it is fine and here it is 20 now this is right is over now you have to go for the left this part so here 20 60 80 now this is x this is y this is z like this you need to consider so now if i take this one 80 will go if i left rotate 80 will be the root left of 6 80 is 60 it is 20 and now here 100 will come not 70 i'll tell you what happens to 70 so the left of 80 whatever will be the right of the root right of 60 will come so like this you cannot take 70 to the right side right why because it is less than 80 so that's why whatever is there left should come to the right of this root so 60 is here so right of this now you can see this is a avl tree which we will get after updating 70 so which option is correct you can see 80 60 100 100 should be there yeah i think this one 20 70 120 120 yes yes option c is a correct answer so like this and you can learn left 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 right and also you can see those things you will come to know how this can be rotated yeah question number 64 if one uses straight two way mesh sort it's not only mesh sort it's a two way mesh sort so following elements in ascending order then the order of these elements after second pass so how this two way mesh sort will happen i'll let you know so in simple mesh sort the array will be divided into two parts right the in a simple mesh sort array will be divided into two parts okay yeah, almost equal parts and then again divides until the problem is small that is and uh, one way so in two way mesh sort it takes every two elements and sorts in a pass one in a first pass first pass every two elements will be taken and sorts next every four elements next every eight elements like this it will complete so 20 47 will become as it is 15 8 will become 8 15 and 9 4 will become 4 9 40 30 will become 30 40 12 17 as it is this is a pass one pass two four elements so first four 
like this and two. So eight, fifteen, twenty, forty-seven is the order for first four. And here four, nine, thirty, forty, as it is, they are in order. Twelve, seventeen. Now, if I say take past three, let us suppose this and this will be matched, and then I think you will get like four, eight, fifteen, twenty. Thirty, forty, forty-seven. So one is missing. Yeah, nine is missing. So like this, it will be. Then twelve and seven will will come. Now it is asking for past two only. What is the answer? This is the answer. You can check it out. So eight, fifteen, twenty, forty-seven, four, nine, thirty, forty, twelve, seventeen. So option B is the right answer. So question number sixty-five. Bread's first stage. It started on a binary beginning of the from the root vertex. Okay, this is a vertex t at a distance four. So in a breadth of a set, it's a binary. So I'll take binary tree. So anyway, it is asking maximum possible value. That's why I'll take maximum possible binary tree in each. Okay, like this. So what it is asking at distance four. So that's why I'm taking distance four. One two. Like this, anyway. I'm taking three distance. Okay, so if t is nth vertex in the BFS travels, so t is somewhere, somewhere here, vertex or node you call it as the maximum possible value of n. Okay, so how it can be taken? Let us suppose if your t is here, okay, that is nth vertex. What will be the value? What will be the maximum value, possible value? First node. If t is here. So this is the first node two three. If t is here, that means maximum value is values possible are two three, but maximum is three, right? Now if t is here, the maximum value is possible values are four five six seven. The maximum value is seven. If t is here, so eight nine ten eleven, like this up to fifteen, right? So eight nine ten level twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. So the maximum possible value is fifteen. So if t is next at fourth level, so it is from sixteen to you will get thirty one, right? Why? Because you can say this is I can directly write two power two minus one. This is sorry two power one minus one. This is two power two minus one. This is two power three minus one. This is two power four minus one. This is two power five minus one. So this is two power h plus one minus one. What is h height, which is four? So if I consider in this manner, so our answer is option B. So at each level. So if I take the next level, fifth level, two power, I think five plus one minus one, which is sixty-three. Like this, we can get it. We'll see some more questions in the next video lecture. Thank you.